Hey what's going on guys, Tatiwazi here and welcome back to another Minecraft running tutorial for Forge 1.17. In this tutorial we are going to be covering tools and armor. So let's go ahead and let's get started shall we? So the first thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is create the actual tools themselves. So in our item minute we can go ahead and create say public static final registry object and first we'll do the tools and we'll start with the sword so this will be of type sword item and I'm going to call this bean underscore sword is equal to items dot register bean underscore sword and a supplier of a new sword item this takes in a tier, we'll leave that for a second. Uh, we'll leave that for a second. Let's do the properties, item dot properties. Okay, and then dot tab. And we'll go ahead and do tutorial mod dot tutorial tab. Let's just put the semicolon on. Okay, I'm just gonna check the sword item to see what these are. So this one right here, this is the attack damage, and this one is the attack speed. Okay, so this one right here, as we just saw, is the attack damage. I'm going to go ahead and do 20, and for the attack speed, I'm going to do 5, and we'll leave the tier. Now let's go ahead and let's copy paste this. Let's do it for the pickaxe, the shovel, the axe, and the hoe. Okay, there we go. I have just done all of those. Let's go ahead, just add a comment up here. Let's go tools. And let's do the armor. So armor. That's just a public static final registry object of type armor item. We'll start with the helmet, so bean underscore helmet is equal to items dot register bean underscore helmet supplier of a new armor item material we'll leave that then the equipment slot so that is just the essentially slot that the armor can go into so this will be equipment slot dot head for the helmet. Then just the properties. I'm just going to copy paste that from up here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create the chest plate, the leggings and the boots. Okay, there we go. That is all of the armor. So we've got head, the chest, the legs and the feet. Now, as you can see, we have put in a null here. And for the tools, you'll see that it is looking for a tier. And for the armor, it is looking for an armor material. So if you wanted to use a vanilla one for the tier, you would just use, uh, what is it? It is, I believe, item tier. Is it not item tier? Let's see. Item. Actually, I think it's just tiers. Yeah. So you would just use tiers and then the specific tier. And for armor, you would use armor materials and then the material that you would use. So we need to go ahead and create our own. Let's start with the tools. So let's come into our core package. Let's create a new class and I'm going to call this base tool material. And let's add the tier interface. Okay, that will add all of the methods for us. Now the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is create a field for all of these methods. 
Okay, there we go. I've created all of the fields and I, as you can see, I've made them all final so that they cannot be reassigned and they're public. Uh, they don't actually need to be public because we have getters for them, uh, but I'm just going to make them public anyways. Actually, no, let's make them private. It doesn't make sense to have them public. So let's make those private. And as you can see, something a bit a little strange here. You can see that the repair ingredient is looking for an ingredient. But I have put down a supplier of ingredient. And the reason is because the ingredient may not be present at the time we create this. So we just want to put in a supplier here. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is make sure these all return the correct one. I'll just do the ingredient first because this one is slightly different. So for the ingredient, we just want to return this repair ingredient dot get. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest. Okay, there we go. That is all of those. Now we need to go ahead and make a constructor that takes in all of these fields and then just assign all of the things that we pass in to these fields. So I'm going to do that. And there we go. That is that. Now we need to actually go ahead and create one of these base tool materials. So I'm going to go into my init package. I'm going to come in here, create a new class, and I'm going to call this tool material init. Just like all our other init classes. It's just going to be final. It's going to have a private constructor. Okay, and in here, we can just create a public static final. Well, actually, this can be protected. And I'm going to call this uh, beans. And oh, that's a tier beans. And that is going to be equal to a new base tool material. There we go. And now we can just pass in the values that we want. So I'm going to say 100 as the, uh, what is it, the attack damage bonus. That's what I'm going to put. Is that right? Wait, have I done this wrong? I'm looking at this wrong. Okay, hold up. The attack damage bonus, yes. Okay, so I'm going to say 15. Point five, I guess, I don't know. Um, and then it's the enchantability, right? So 500. Is it the enchantability? Yes. And then the harvest level, I'm going to put as five. And then what's after the harvest level? After the harvest level is the speed. I'm going to give it a very fast speed. I'm going to say 25 because beans are super speedy. Then we have the durability. I'm going to give it 2,500 because beans, they're extremely durable. I mean, what can I say? And then for the ingredient, I'm going to go ahead and say a supplier of ingredient dot of. And here you can supply an item, an item stack, a stream of item stacks, or a item tag. So item tag is probably what you should use but just to make this a little simpler I'm just going to go for a simple item and I'm going to go item in it dot beans so this just basically creates an ingredient of our beans item and that's what's used to repair it in the anvil or etc okay now we need to go ahead and do the same with armor. So let's close these. Uh, I guess we can actually go ahead and fill this out first. So for these tools, we can go ahead and say, uh, what was it? Tool material init dot beans. And we can just replace all of these nulls right here. Okay, for the armor, let's once again come into our core package. Let's create a new class. Let's call this base armor material. 
and I meant to do implements, but this is fine. Implements armor material. And let's add the unimplemented methods. There we go. And now we need to go ahead and create a field for all of these different methods. There we go. So all the fields are created. As you can see, they're once again private final. And we've once again gone for a supplier of the ingredient. Then we just need to go ahead and return these fields in the correct method. Finally, we just need to create a constructor which takes in all of these and then sets them. So I'm just going to paste that in since I've already done it before. And fantastic. So that should be it for the armor. Let's come into our init and let's create an armor material in it. Okay, let's make this final. Let's give it a private constructor. Okay, and in here, we just want to do basically the same as the tool material, but for armor. So public static final, and this will just be armor material. Make sure we get the right one. And that'll be equal to beans. Or it's just called beans it's a new base armor material so first is the enchantability I'm gonna put 100 then it wants an array of the durabilities and this is for each slot basically now I believe this starts with boots at array index 0 so I'm gonna do a new int array I'm gonna put um, 950 for the boots I'm going to say 1400 for the leggings and that didn't work 1400 for the leggings I'm going to say 1800 for the chest plate and I'm going to go 1000 for the helmet it might be the other way around it might start with boots then go leggings chest plate helmet it might go helmet chest plate leggings boots I'm not sure which way it goes but it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this. You can fiddle around with it afterwards. Then we just want another int array for the damage reduction. And that's basically how much uh, the armor will reduce the damage by. So I'm going to make you basically invincible to most vanilla stuff by going 20 for the... Uh, Probably the helmet. No, probably... I, I think it starts from the boots. I think 20 for the boots. Then we'll go 35 for the leggings. We'll go 50 for the chest plate. And we'll go... 20... 28? 27. Let's go 27 for the... Uh, helmet. Assuming it's that way around, of course. Let's put a semicolon on the end so we can format that. There we go, that's much better. Okay, after that, it is the knockback resistance. Um, I'm not sure how much this modifier affects it. I'm just going to put 3.2. Obviously, you can view them in vanilla classes for these. So if you just control shift T in Eclipse, then you can just search armor materials. And here you can just see the vanilla uh, values, basically. And that is the same for tool materials. So you just go to tiers, and then you can see the vanilla tool tiers. Okay, what was after the, after that? So after that is the toughness. I think this is a very scalable modifier. So I'm gonna say 1.85. Not too high, I don't think. Then you have the sounds. So for this is just sound events. Then you can choose your sound. If you want the vanilla sounds or the vanilla armor sounds, you just go vanilla armor and you have all these equip sounds. So these are the equip sounds, by the way. 
I'm actually not going to give it an armor sound. I'm just going to be wacky, and I'm going to go. Uh, let's go with the uh, the boat water sound. Not exactly sure what that sound is. I don't actually remember. Uh, I've forgotten the name, haven't I? So before you give it the sound, you need to give it the name. So I'm going to give it Bean. And then finally, you have the repair material. So ingredient dot of item oh, item minutes dot beans dot get. There we go. Now the reason we do need to give it the name is because that's what it looks for in our resources for the texture. Let's just come into our item minute first and let's fill these out. So. Let's go armor material. Oh, it's not what I meant to do. Come back. Dot beans. Let's just replace all these nulls. And there we go. That is all the armor. That is all the tools. That is done. Now you can do the lang and the item models. Uh, I've already done all those, but I will show you something with the item models. So let's go into our tool item models. Now for the, all the tools, you want to go ahead and put item forward slash handheld instead of item generated. And the reason is because that's what will make it look like, it will make it look correct in your hand. It won't be all funky. Uh, you can test it out, see what it does with generated and see what it does with handheld. You'll see the difference very quickly. It's very strange if you use generated for tools. Um, yeah, that is those. And the final thing is the textures. Now, for the textures, for the armor textures more specifically, you need to create a package in your textures for models. And then inside of that, you need a pa package for armor or just folder. I keep saying package, but obviously the concept of packages doesn't exist in IntelliJ. It's just a folder. Or a directory I think they call it actually and then here you just need the two layers so layer one and layer two now you'll see that I have prefixed prefixed it with bean underscore and the reason being if we come into our uh, where was it it was in our inits and armor material in it you'll see that we put bean here now actually, now that I think of this, we do need to actually add one thing, and that is tutorialmod.modid plus colon bean. And the reason is because we want to make sure that this model is found inside of our uh, assets.modid instead of inside of the vanilla, because by default, I'm pretty sure it goes in the vanilla. Uh, that should be that. Obviously, make sure you've done the lang, which I have gone ahead and done already. And make sure you've done all the textures for the items. And let's run the game. Here we are. We are back in the game. Now, if I go ahead into the creative menu, here are the here's the armor and the tools. Let's put the armor on first, check that that works correctly, which it does, fantastic. Now let's go into here, let's grab the tools. As you can see my professional textures right here. So here's the sword, the pickaxe, the shovel, the axe and the hoe. Yeah, anyways, if you guys did find this tutorial useful, please do be sure to smash your face. Into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, the... <laughs>